All right, guys, so first workout of 2024, and what a day to start, right? We're doing chest and calves today. As you guys know, I always do calves before I start my chest workout. Why? I prioritize the weaker body part. So I'm gonna do some standing seated raises, focus on, you know, repetitions, 12 reps, and uh, then we're gonna roll in the chest. But we're at Fit Club for the start of the new year. Uh, like I said, first workout I took yesterday off, which was New Year's Day. So we're the first day into uh, really getting the New Year's cranking. And, uh, you know, 2024, we're going to keep that content running. So I'm going to get this work in. And uh, it's about midday today. So I uh, was able to get some good rest the last couple of days. I feel good, ready to start a new year. And uh, I don't have any resolutions, but... You know, I always advise everyone to have some sort of goals, aspirations, set kind of the standard for what your year is going to be. And uh, we have a lot of options in Vegas, but today it's a fit club option. I uh, wanted to change it up a little bit and now uh, we're getting that working, so. All right, so full stretch on these. That's the main thing with the calf. So, you know, seated is supposed to work more the outside and obviously the standing you work the inside. I don't do anything fancy with the feet, uh, but the stretch is really important. So you wanna get that stretch, especially cause you walk on your calves all day and you don't notice until you get an injury to your calf muscle, how much your calves come into play when you walk. So, uh, you know, if I had a donkey calf machine, I would probably do something else, but we're gonna focus on like four and four, so eight sets total. Uh, like I said, I'm not going crazy, crazy with the volume. At some point, maybe I'll turn that up through the year. But until I get a good pump, um, just to keep the blood flow, you know, and then work our way into chest. And, you know, I want to come here today, get on some different equipment uh, and stick to the basics. You know, we'll do three or four movements, not crazy, where I used to do six or seven. And, uh, you know, go through it that way, so. All right, so for, for chest training, I always start with some sort of machine. So either hammer machine or, this is actually Nautilus. It's an incline. So, you know, when we talk about incline, flat bench, decline, I think the whole pec region is gonna be worked no matter what you do for your chest movements. But I still prefer to do, you know, some sort of incline to kind of start, really kind of get the front delts warmed up and everything. And uh, we're gonna do a couple warm up sets and we'll work on three, like three to four working sets. Uh, so one more warm-up, I'll go up a little bit in weight. All right, so I'm going to do a hammer press. This is kind of like a flat bench. Do three sets here and then uh, see how it feels. We do have the plates under here just so it gives us a little lift. So what I really like about this one, so when you press, this is actually probably my favorite piece of hammer. It actually does the movement for you. So a little light, I'm gonna go up a plate. As you can see, I'm using 35s because I don't wanna walk across the gym and try to grab more 45s.
So I'm going to the point where I get a pretty good burn. So like I said, I mean, the volume's back down, but I'm not training to failure. That's the one question is, you know, do I stri do strip sets, drop sets uh, to failure? Not necessarily. Like I said, I'm just trying to get, you know, I try to work towards the pump. I've always trained like that. And obviously I grew, so it's really helped my joints a lot. Or I'm not doing a tremendous amount of weight. Everything's pretty controlled. If you know, my reps are a little short, right? So I'm really just trying to contract the muscle, keep that constant tension and move through it. So 45, 60 seconds between guys. That's our rest period. And uh, that weight felt pretty good. I did 12 pretty easy, but I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna go up. I'll stay with this. All right, last set here, guys. All right, so I talk about the pump all the time. So, you know, we fill it up with the pressing movements. We've done two. So I'm going to do a, a fly movement. I'm going to do this on a flat bench. I'm going to stretch that tissue out. So it's very important to get, obviously, the blood flow and then stretch those fibers and get, create more uh, possible blood flow, right? So that's why I think eating, you know, a good meal an hour before training is solid. Uh, and then I'm gonna follow up, I have chicken and rice packed in the car, so I'll be able to do that, you know, immediately following. Some people like shakes or something that's a little more quicker digesting. One thing I usually don't eat after training is steak, just cause it's a little slower digesting. I'd rather get, you know, something a little, little less fat and the carbs. So this is our third exercise. I'm gonna do three sets here. I'm gonna start around 60 pounds, get that stretch. Still focus on 10 to 12 and uh, keep stretching this thing out. And then we'll go back to one more movement to get some more blood flow in there. All right, so back in the day, I had to deal with flex equipment, okay? Mark Nally, Dan Block, all those guys over there. And they had this piece. So they started this leverage line, which is a little different from your typical leverage machines that you see from other companies. Uh, the contraction, like I said, is really good with the, um, with the movement because it does kind of the movement in the line of how you should be doing it contraction-wise. So I wanted to do something, you know, I was, gonna, I was gonna lay down and do dumbbell bench, but you know, we did this instead. There was someone on the bench. And uh, that's the nice thing about training at like the gyms when it's super quiet, it's, you have your choice of a lot of stuff, but it is a little busier today. It is, it's the second of January, right? Everyone, the gyms are packed. Although you said Lifetime wasn't packed yesterday. No, not really. Were you surprised? Yeah, honestly, I was expecting to get messed and it wasn't. So his gym was, is the most crowded gym in Vegas pretty much and it wasn't packed yet. We're waiting to see when the rush is gonna happen. I'm sure it's more like the LVCs and the EOSs with the ch choice membership. But today's, I know that's not crazy in here. But it's always those people in their New Year's kick, you know, I'm gonna start working out and get in better shape. And that's why I said always start early and you know, keep pushing yourself. So we're gonna do the last set of this. And then uh, we might do a pull over, stretch a little bit if I can get a bench. It's like fighting for a bench here.
All right, so we're gonna do a pullover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this in a diamond. And what I'm really trying to do is just stretch the chest, like I told you, pump, stretch, pump, stretch. It's gonna be our finisher movement, three sets. 75, of course, I used to do like 150 on this, but uh, just kind of stretch. And, and as I come over the top, I'm kind of squeeze. So like I said, for back, I do it like this. For chest, I do it like this, so it kind of stretches. Another exercise I usually do is like a pull down, uh, like a cable pull down, and it helps stretch the fibers out. Okay, we're just gonna keep the blood flow. One thing I've been able to hold on to as I've retired is like a decent chest. And I always liked having, you know, when you wear a V-neck, you have that chiseled look, right? So of course it used to be a lot more. Right there is a little pump. All right, chest calves done. So that's the start of the week. Now I was doing this seven days a week thing and I make sure, yes, like I said, took yesterday off. That's my goal in 24 is to scale back a little bit on the training and see if that makes a difference. So what I'm on right now is I'm on a cycle to kind of measure, I, I hate to say this because this is not like what I would have spoken about in the past. I want to do as least as possible to do maintenance, okay? Like I said, it, eventually I wanted the body weight to come down. Of course, I want to try to keep the arms and, you know, certain body part size. I mean, my back and my legs have come down a lot. Uh, but now, as we go into the new year, I want to put more time and energy to doing things that, you know, can more educate. And so that means, you know, film a little more. You know, I do have the Osmo camera we were just talking about. You know what i prefer you said uh oh do you prefer to shoot this way or with the osmo and you know this is of course you you follow me around but uh you know education is key right people still have i know some of you guys have watched a million of my videos from day one you've seen the transformation from going from a 208 80 plus pound body to now being you know between 230 and 240. Uh, the theories that have not changed as far as, you know, volume, reps, uh, obviously the weights change some. Uh, we have a lot different variety of gyms here now. We're used to see where I did these videos, you know, from my DVDs, what you guys see on TikTok and a lot of social media where I don't say a lot, right? So now my goal is to actually speak more, uh, kind of give a reason why I do these things and why I do 10 or 12 reps. I mean, it's just always been the, the go-to for me. I mean, it's kind of how I was taught in the beginning. I always thought you had to do at least eight repetitions. Although, you know, I've done sixes and fours uh, and people may agree or disagree. I mean, you know, we, we heard about, you know, Dorian Yates doing this beyond failure training, you know, the, uh, you know, back in the day, right? Where it was like one set to failure, um, obviously working up, doing sets, you know, to kind of warm up for that. but. Uh, I've just always stuck to the volume thing. It's, it just seems to be a way that I've able to stay leaner, uh, stay injury free. Like I said, I, I don't have any aches and pains as of now. Like I'm still getting the tissue work done at least once or twice a week. So that's the goal is, you know, kind of keep that going because I honestly fell out of that somewhat because I felt like I wasn't training so hard. And I know it sounds, it sounds kind of awkward because it's like, well, I still preach to people, you should get some sort of tissue work done, especially if you're tearing down fibers stretching is super important right so it's not just when you're in the gym it's outside of the gym uh allow yourself recovery the food you know i always have my diet 100 percent on check you know i'm cooking all my i i actually have trifecta meals which is often but you know when i am cooking food like my eggs in the morning uh i got up this morning had you know my eggs and oatmeal and you know i have one meal in me now got up a little later today but uh, you know, drink plenty of water. I mean, that's the key. I don't, I don't know how many, I probably drink six or eight of these a day, which, 
you know, is sufficient for me right now with my output. I'm um, still doing the cardio in there. I'll probably do a little bit of cardio now uh, just to finish off the workout and then we roll with it. So, you know, stay tuned for all uh, what we have coming for 2024, guys. Uh, we didn't get our Gold's Gym workout yet. I'm going to plan to do that closer to the Fit Expo, which is around the 20th. Just booked a couple of appearances, one in uh, Virginia and one in uh, North Carolina that's be coming up. So February 24th is Virginia and then... Uh, we have April 20th is going to be in Statesville, North Carolina, but I'll be announcing all that. It's be on my appearance page. Um, but until then, we'll keep putting out the content. We'll have a jaywalking this week. And, uh, you know, this is our wrap up for Fit Club today, chest, chest and calves and, uh, you know, working in for 2024. So if you guys are feeling off track, you know, comment, comment and ask, you know, I want to hear uh, what you guys have to say. What, why, why do you feel like, what's the obstacle? Is it your work schedule? Is it, you know, not finding the time, the motivation? You know, what do we use for motivation besides loud music, partners, uh, the gym atmosphere that's really important? I mean, today's different, you know? It's like I train at some quieter gyms, and like I said, it's easy to get on equipment, but at the same time, it's a little more energy in here. You know, you get people boxing and you know, all sorts of trainers in here doing uh, different things. You see people with their new goals for the new year, or it's a lot of the same people, honestly. I was here just before uh, the holiday and people were in here getting it, getting it in. So um, if you guys are ever in Vegas, you have a lot of options to come to. Make sure you guys check out Fit Club. It's very close to the strip. And, uh, you know, for myself and J-Mac, we're out for this one. And uh, I appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow. If you guys aren't following already and, uh, Let's stay tuned, man. We're, we're close to a million now. So when we do this million, uh, we're going to do kind of a big giveaway for you guys that have been super supportive. And, uh, you know, we appreciate you guys so much. So uh, let's keep crushing. Shout out. 2024 is here, guys. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I kept the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights, hey, you trying to shut me